In this video, we will look at valences. So every element has a certain capacity to combine with other atoms. A valence is simply a number that's assigned to each element to describe the element's bonding capacity. So for example, group 1 elements such as sodium or lithium all have a valence of plus 1. Now the plus means that the element will give up electrons to become a positively charged ion. And the 1 means that it's telling us how many electrons are involved in bonding. So with group 1 elements, those elements only have one electron involved in bonding. Our periodic table is arranged in a way that tells us what the valences are of all of our main groups. If we look at our group 1 elements, they all have a valence of plus 1. Our group 2 elements have a valence of plus 2. Our group 3 has a valence of plus 3. Um, I'm going to come back to our group 4. Let's go on to our group 5. Now these are starting to gain electrons. So things such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and arsenic all have a valence of negative 3. Oxygen, sulfur, selenium, that group is negative 2. And finally, our halides are negative 1, and our halogens are 0. In terms of our group 4 elements, carbon, silicon, and germanium, um, and continuing down, they're a little special because they can have a valence of either plus 4 or negative 4. It's going to depend on what else it's combining with. So if our group 4 elements are combined with a metal, it means that the metal is going to lose the electrons and have the positive valence. And so our carbon or silicon or germanium, those are going to take on the negative 4 valence. So that's if combined with a metal. If our group 4 elements are combined with another metal, they will um, lose their electrons and the other nonmetal will gain the electrons from these elements. Okay, so depending on what it's combining with, it's going to have either a plus 4 or a negative 4 valence. The other exception to the rule is hydrogen. Hydrogen is special as well. It can also have a negative 1 valence and that is if it's combined with a metal then it will take on a negative 1 valence. We can determine the valence from a chemical formula. And the way that we're going to approach this, and what I suggest you do, is determine the valence of your non-metal first. Um, and that's because metals, or the first element listed in your chemical formula, can sometimes have more than one valence. So if you work backwards from your nonmetal first, it will make things a little bit easier. Uh, so for example, if we look at MnO2, we know from our periodic table that oxygen always has a valence of negative 2. So what we need to determine is what valence would manganese have so that if you added up all the valences of all the atoms in our molecule, it would equal to zero because this molecule is neutral. There's no charge on it. So since we have two oxygens, each one has a valence of negative two, overall from our oxygen is negative four. And that means in order for this to be neutral, our manganese would have to be plus four. Our next example, um, again, let's work from oxygen because we know oxygen is always negative two. And so now we've got three of them. So that's contributing negative six overall, meaning that this SB2 has to add up to plus six, or each SB is going to be plus 3. Now keep in mind with formulas like the next one here, usually your first element that's listed is the one that's going to 
lose electrons. So it's going to have a positive charge. And your second element is always going to be the one with a negative charge. So this is that special case where hydrogen is combined with another non-metal, or the carbon's acting like a metal in this case. So when it's listed second, it's got the negative valence, meaning that hydrogen has a negative one valence here. There are four of them, so overall that is a negative four, meaning that carbon would be plus four. Finally, in the last one, chlorine is always negative one. There are five of them, so that's negative five in total from the chlorines, meaning that the phosphorus would have to be plus five.